San Antonio Spurs have had a run that's really hasn't been matched very often in the history of the NBA. This group, three championships together, Milo Ginobili, Tony Parker, and Tim Duncan, and it obviously Greg Popovich and Tim Duncan have been together for four, but this could be the last time that we see that trio out on the floor together. Tim Duncan, I think, well, when it's all said and done and he gets over the emotions of it, probably come back, because I don't think there's any doubt he's still got enough in him, and I think with how they lost that series, they got to believe if they can just improve a little bit, they'll have another chance at a world championship. Tony Parker, again, just has to get healthy. There's no doubt about it that that hamstring affected his ability to play at a high level. But he's still young. He'll, he'll regroup, he'll recover, and he'll be back playing at an elite level. The real question becomes Mono Ginobili, who aged right before our eyes over the course of this postseason. The game has really become difficult for him, and it's, it's a sad thing to see for such a great competitor. But listen... Father Time is undefeated, and no matter how great Mano Ginobili is, there comes a time for all the great ones where it just can't get done the way you're accustomed to doing it. So I would not be surprised to see Mano Ginobili potentially hang him up at the end of the season. But don't expect the first the Spurs to fall off. They are going to continue to be in a team that I think can compete for a world championship. Greg Popovich has proven that he knows how to evaluate talent and push the right button but for the Spurs to continue to be elite as they move forward.